Hello and welcome to Horror News. And yes, I have a full-blown studio full of Spear Halloween animatronics and some strobes. So this is gonna be lit. Okay, let me actually turn the light on at myself right there. So there's a lot of horror news. I think I made a, a uh, video for it during maybe January or February. So this is the March update. Let's just get to this. This is this month is just jam-packed, and this part of the year is just jam-packed with horror news. Alright, starting off with Ghostbusters Frozen Empire, I'm pretty sure it's called. This one did release just a few days ago, but it looks pretty interesting because it's going to be... The, it is the old Ghostbusters and the new ones teaming up and uniting to battle ghosts or whatever. I've never even seen one of the Ghostbusters films, but I already can tell that this is freaking cool. So, it's very cool looking, that's what I gotta say. So, next, I'm gonna be, t so I'm gonna be making segments for these videos too. So right now we're talking about film, film, just film. We're just talking about film and cinema, um, and yeah. So... Next, I would like to talk about uh, Beetlejuice 2, which we do have finally some news on it because uh, it was pretty delayed. Um, we got the trailer out now, but it was pretty delayed because I'm pretty sure there was a, a pause in casting or pause in filming. And while that pause was happening, there were items being literally stolen from the set. And so this is just crazy. And if you guys ever feel tempted to steal something, just know that is very wrong. And it's making yourself look more worse than you would think. And if you are caught selling that thing, then you are done for. Um, and you are heading straight to the bars of the jail. So, especially from a big filming company. So I just gotta tell you guys, that is wrong to do these things. But it still did happen, luckily, somehow, some way, it still happened. Michael Keaton or whatever, I don't know his full name, is returning to Beetlejuice 2 as Beetlejuice himself. He looks pretty amazing. He still looks the same. I mean, yeah. Lydia, of course, does not look identical to, she, to the way she originally did. She's all grown up now. Um, and this, fe this film features Jenna Ortega, um, known for Scream 6 and also known for freaking Wednesday. Um, so, yeah. Also, moving on to some other Scream-related news, we have got Scream 7, and it's in the works, and Neve Campbell will be in it. If you don't know who Neve Campbell is, she plays Sydney, And so this is going to be a well-needed piece in the puzzle that is finally coming back, because Scream 6 had a lot of craziness, because she wasn't in it. And so I think it has a new, pro uh, new producer or whatever, Something like that. And now they're finally letting her get back in as somebody who's from the original movies. Um, now, we were theorizing a lot a couple years ago how Casey could return or something like that. That would be lit because um, you never truly die in horror movies. Um, or Stu. We were really speculating that Stu Maker, um, um, he's, spoiler alert, he's Ghostface, um, would return... Because we don't have an official death scene of him, I don't think, in the movie, from what I know. So, who knows, but Neve Campbell is returning. Alright. Let me try and think of some other ones. Some of the first horror movies of the year flopped at the bo box office, and so this was pretty upsetting. Lisa Frankenstein being the worst, probably. Um, not horror-related, this one that I'm about to talk about. But the movie Argyle had a $2 million, $200 million budget and made... Probably, I think, less than $100 million, so, oh boy. Okay, but that's not even horror, but mainly Lisa Frankenstein did trash at the box office, and we're going to do a quick film review. So Lisa Frankenstein tries to be a good movie. It really tries, but it fails miserably. There's just too much useless crap in this movie. It's way too long. It's like two hours-ish. Like, I think this movie, personally, could have been done in less than 45 minutes. And that would have been a lot better, because this movie is trash. Um, so it's not even worth it. It's just coming to streaming, though, so definitely check, check out that. I think Night Swim is also coming to streaming. That one looks a lot better, but that is also a flopped horror movie that I have not seen that one yet, but it apparently flopped. Alright, so we are moving on to... 
the fearful foodie. This is my new Welcome to the Fearful Foodie! foodie. Oh, oh, oh. One or maybe two uh, new like horror things um, that are food related. Alright, so Cinemark, or Signmark, or whatever, uh, which I don't even have one near me at all, uh, came out with Ghostface Popcorn Buckets last year. Crazy. People were scalping them. Wow. People were just selling them for millions or something <laughs> on eBay. Um, something like that, just snatching them up. And now, certain places, um, are selling a Ghostbusters, um, Ghost Trap popcorn bucket. This thing's gonna be very popular and probably is sold out absolutely everywhere at this point. This is just, this is amazing for any Ghostbusters fan alike, or horror fan alike, this is a need. Um, and yeah. Also, I'm pretty sure Target has a Ghostbusters slushy, or icy, or whatever it's called. And that's apparently coming out. It's going to be lime green, so keep an eye on your toilet and don't be concerned if it turns a little green. Because this is neon green. Alright. So now moving on to our next category. Alright, moving on to the, haunt to the haunt tab of this video. This is basically where we're going to be talking about haunters and haunts um, and stuff like that. Um... Of course, here at ABC Halloween, we have a new studio look. Um, animatronics everywhere. We've even got a lot of collectibles right there. Which, video coming soon for that. For a full tour, but... Um, yeah. And besides that, I have a friend, Conjure Maven, who is making a huge animation. She makes wonderful animations. And she is pretty much making a whole freaking animation, animated movie. Um, and she is including Haunters and did a whole, um, voice acting, casting call. And there are, it looks like gonna be over a hundred people that are gonna be voice acting in this. So I don't wanna be her and edit that much. But the trailer is coming out, um, and hopefully is out by the time this video is out. Or will be coming out on the 23rd. Um, or whatever today is, I think this, I don't know. My mind is blown. Okay. But... It will be coming out soon. I did some voice acting. Hmm, not gonna say who, but it's based on these Spiro Halloween animatronics. If you love Spiro Halloween, these animatronics, want to learn about these things' backstories and how they were created and stuff, then check her channel out because she's making a whole freaking movie about their backstories and I'm guessing about this guy too. Alright, so also I'm just gonna include some things about some animatronics that were recently leaked. Um... Of course we had Lowe's, I don't know if I mentioned that in the last one, Lowe's had animatronics leaked. Big licenses were Wednesday, there mainly, uh, like a Wednesday animatronic, Joseph Crackstone, whoever that is, and a, uh, Cousin It. But besides that, um, Home Depot has some new props, they're coming out with a servo-licensed Frankenstein. If you don't know what servo motors are, they make it blank, realistic, and it's very realistic and fluid mo movements, and it's so realistic. This thing is going to sell really quick. Also, when it comes to the 12 foot Skelly, he was retired last year, but they brought him back in a new great way. He's got new hands. He has like 10 different settings for his eyes. He just looks amazing. And he's also getting a dog, doggo canine friend. Um, because they are coming out with a dog. And so that's pretty crazy. Besides that, I think there is a Nosferatu. Not many pictures of him though. But very blurry. But we've got a little view of his face in the corner. And then. Some other pictures, so definitely check out these videos I have posted on my channel. Alright, so that pretty much wraps it up, I gotta say. If there's anything else, I might edit it in, but that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, and then we have the Killer Clowns from Outer Space, the game. New weapons have been announced, new clowns have been announced. It's coming out this June, and so that is very, very, very exciting. Also, Chucky Season 4 will be coming out if you're... Chucky guy likes to show or whatever. Um, and yeah. So also stay tuned on this channel for the newest horror news. And all these things. And film reviews. Everything in between. Everything scary. Or everything spooky or whatever. Just everything. A little bit of everything. And so. This has basically been Halloween news. I'm going to stop this exactly at 10 minutes. So if you're missing a show and this is on a commercial. Then there you go. Um, because this is going to be exactly 10 minutes. But, yeah, guys, um, something like that. But pretty much, Halloween news, stay tuned every month for new updates of- Next time, return to horror news here on ABC Halloween. 
subscribe for daily updates, and learn new facts when this show isn't on.